Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, been meaning to make this video for a while since I've done that, how to do the measurements on a fitting or whatever video that was super horrible back a couple months ago. But I'm gonna show you guys how to get whatever degree out of this 90. If you need a 40, I think that's what we'll cut. We'll cut us a 40 out of it. But turning this 90 into a 40. But what you're gonna need is, we'll need your calculator of some sort. Um, I really like these. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for all these tools that I'm using too. And I have this uh, flat back tape measure. See, it's super flimsy. It's perfect for marking these fittings out, which it'll be kind of tough with this two inch one where it's so small. Um, you got to have your something to mark it with. So I got welder's pencils, um, a couple different kinds, and got some soapstone. And this one here I got the other day from, uh, got it from Tractor Supply. It's kind of pricey, but it's pretty cool, man. It works just like a regular lead pencil. And it even has daggone pencil sharpener built in. How cool is that? But anyways, let's get to marking this thing out. All right, so let's get this slid out of the way here. And we got to measure our inside and outside. I may have cheated and already measured it and wrote it down back here. But measure that. Oh, to zoom in. So we're really two and seven eighths on the inside. And we are six and a half on the outside. This is a super heavy wall thing. It's an extra. Oh. I don't know what schedule this is. Oh, schedule 160. It's pretty pretty hefty little fitting. So our inside measurement is not three, two and seven eighths. And our outside is six and a half. So we need these measurements to figure out how to, we need the measurements to do the math on the thing because you got to figure out how many how much of the fitting equals a degree so we got uh, six and a half inches then we got to divide that by 90 because it's 90 degrees so it's a sixteenth of an inch we're gonna get a 40 out of it so multiply that by 40 which is two and seven eighths Let's redo that. I don't think that seems a little odd. So six and a half inches. All right, let's redo that. It looks a little odd to me. Um, so let's do six and a half inches. Divide that by 90 times 40 2 and 7 eighths that's what our measurement is on the inside that's why it kind of threw me off so take this come down 2 and 7 eighths right there so we should just be a little shy of, a little less than halfway alright let's get her inside uh, 2 inches Seven eighths divided that by ninety uh, times forty. All right, the same five eighths of an inch. Oh, let's slide up here to this three inch mark. That ain't right. Inch and a quarter. There we go. Sometimes you got to redo your math over and over again. If it don't look right, odds are 
it probably ain't right. Those are marks for inside and outside. And I'll tell you what, we'll use this red one on one side and I'll use this one on the other. So I'll show you all the difference in these things, which I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already used them. But probably get a little funky on the Kind of hard to hold this and what you want to do is line that up make some mark all right there's that sign let's get our other side i'll use this silver streak here for it Wiggle it so it fits flat. There y'all go. So now we've got a 40 on one side and a 50 on the other. So 40 here, 50 here. That's all it is to it. All right. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I'll catch y'all next time.